my top 10 favorite cheap fragrances of all time. This is gonna end right here, right now. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. My top 10 favorite cheap fragrances right now. So for this list, let's go over the ground rules. I try to use a lot of different style houses. I try to use as little arm mobs as possible for this list. The cap is $35 for a 3.4 ounce. All of these are under $35 and you get 3.4 ounce. But to be honest, this list was really just eight fragrances. Number nine and number 10 are kind of like honorable mentions. So speaking of those, let's jump in to number 10, Moschino Uomo. This one, really doesn't have too many faults. There's just something about it that although I like it, although it's masculine, there's just something about it that holds me back from wanting to wear it or really just liking it to that next level. It has a really good amount of projection right away, but not much longevity. It kind of goes away about an hour and a half. And I've never gotten a compliment with this one. So although I think it smells good, there's something missing, unfortunately, from it smelling as good as it could. I'm pretty sure if you smell this right away, you'd be impressed. Moschino Uomo, number 10. The only reason this was number nine and not number 10 is because I got a compliment with this one and that is Nautica Voyage. Now, people say that when it came out, it had a really good amount of longevity and projection and now it's kind of been pulled back. I still think its longevity and projection is still a little bit of a strong suit. It may not be as strong as it once was, but I still think it's overall one of its strong suits and the uniqueness kind of comes from that cucumber they put in there. It gives it a unique style freshness. But again, there's just something about this fragrance that although I like it, I think a lot of people will like it and you will get compliments with it. This just doesn't have enough for me to where I want to wear it as much. If you were to get it, you might enjoy it. A lot of people have enjoyed it before and it is a compliment getter. I do not wear it very much, but when I have, I have gotten compliments with it. Not a good voyage. A lot of other fragrances in the cheap realm have a similar smell to this, have similar quality to this, but this one is unusually cheap. You could find this anywhere from $13, $14, $15 online. One of the best values. This is like the dirt cheap one that I recommend, mainly for the cold weather, and that is Jaguar's Classic Gold. Really likable, sweet style smell to it. Again, sweet style smells kind of go better in the winter and the fall. So if you're in an environment that's more cooler, um, this one's definitely for it. If it's you live in a summer environment or, or environment that's really hot i probably would pass on this one but if you're wanting something that's really really cheap that smells sweet smells sexy covers all the bases super cheap i would highly recommend jaguar classic gold very solid and so so cheap number eight is number seven sean john's unforgivable that's the fragrance that i slept on for a while it's so cheap and it's so popular it would have been great to do a review on i don't know why i passed up on it i saw some like cheap list recently and somebody was hyping it so i ended up pulling the trigger and this one has some slight similarities to creed's millisim imperial um, it's nowhere near like a, a full-on clone. It just kind of takes some aspects of Millicene Imperial and then puts a little bit of a generic, typical cologne style smell in the background. But overall, it's really nice. And it's the only designer fragrance that I've smelled that has a similarity to Millicene Imperial. Millicene Imperial is one of my favorite ones to wear for the summertime. It just smells so, so good. Super solid. I was really impressed by how close it was to Millicene Imperial. And the only reason that it's high is, is high up as it is is because the projection isn't so good on this, but I really do enjoy the smell. Sean John, unforgivable. Number six, a fragrance that I didn't have too many good things to say about initially in my review, but over time and testing it, spraying it on myself, spraying it around the room, I've slowly grown to appreciate it. And the only reason that, that is number six is because it has very good longevity and projection, at least my bottle does, and that is Tommy's Endless Blue. This is a little bit of a weird scent. When I spray it and I get up close, it almost smells a pure, like pure bubble gum. It's so weird. Certain scents are bubble gummy sweet. This one would almost smell like 100% like bubble gum. However, when you spray up on it and when you spray up in the room, it really does smell very different. It's got that familiar blue style smell, but it's also got kind of like this spiciness, this little bit of pepper in there. It still is overall blue and smooth but then the, it's so spicy and peppery at the same time, it kind of comes out. And again, the main reason that I'm putting this as high as it is is because I, I do think this has very good projection longevity and the way that it smells in the air. It's not fully like the most 3D scent that I've ever smelled, but it really does open up. And I really like the projection on this one. Tommy Endless Blue. My favorite from the First Instinct line, First Instinct Extreme number five. Now, this one was so, so similar to Tommy Endless Blue. I kind of feel similarly about him. I think they're both very good. I gave this one the nod just because of my personal experience with Abercrombie and, and my reviews of First Instinct in the past. I kind of had just a slight bias to it, but to be honest, I could go with either one of these. This one is my favorite from the First Instinct line. It has 
that same sweetness, that same likability that you get in the original First Instinct, but they make it a little bit more thick and a little bit more mature. And I really, really appreciate that. The original First Instinct is more transparent, which means it's probably gonna be better for the high heat and things like that. And it also smelled a little bit more youthful. I really do like First Instinct, but First Instinct Extreme has that unique kind of smell. It's actually probably overall a slightly less unique scent than the original First Instinct. But the added things that they put into this make it just more likable and more mature and I appreciate it the most and it has I think the longest longevity and projection of any first instinct again not the strongest in the world but a little bit stronger than the other first instincts I just really really like this one for the nighttime first instinct extreme number five the one that I'm surprised went up as high as it did on this list but to be honest when I was comparing it when I was thinking of the best value and everything that this encompasses I had to go with Armov's Derby Clubhouse Gold number four now this one kind of smells like Mont Blanc Legend Intense, which is an intense version of Mont Blanc Legend, when Mont Blanc Legend is an impression of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. People really think the Fierce DNA is outdated. I completely agree with them, but at the same time, the Fierce DNA still smells very good. It still gets compliments, and there's a still a select amount of people who like the Fierce DNA. But there's really not that much good offerings of the Fierce DNA right now, so it's, it's kind of like dying. The original Fierce it just really isn't that strong. I think Mont Blanc Legend is the only one they offer. They don't offer Mont Blanc Legend Intense. So for a really full, fierce like picture, I really appreciate this. How does this kind of smell in comparison to Mont Blanc Legend and Fierce? This one is a little bit more thick, strong vibe. And I really appreciate it because I think it projects for a long time and it also lasts on your skin a long time. It's so full that you might want to give it a second to cool off and it'll smell a little bit better a little bit later on. This is one that I think you might get a compliment two or three hours hours later, especially if you spray up on it a lot because it is really, really full. The longer it dries down, I think it's gonna come off a little bit better. And when I got a compliment with this, I think it was two or three hours later. This one's really one of the best. I was gonna send my cousin some more colognes and I sent him Armov's Hunter Intense and I sent him Club de Nui Intense Man, but I think I'm actually gonna send this one in the next batch because mainly for that longevity and projection and combined with the likable smell, just very good. Armov's Derby Clubhouse Gold, number four. Number three, the only tie on this list, Club de Nui Intense Man and Insurrection Pure 2. I have Insurrection Pure 2 in my car, but it's actually not that hot right now. I really like the Aventus DNA. The Aventus DNA gets a lot of compliments, but when I was going back, if you saw my video, I found Club Dino We Intense Man to just have this off-putting vibe. Although it delivers insane amount of compliments and people can smell it so far away, there's this subtle off-putting vibe that I smell right away and that I'll smell sometimes even the day later. I'll, the only remnants of this sometimes is that off-putting vibe. When I have so many good fragrances that cover so many good things, I just don't want to wear anything that's off-putting. I have so many other good options. Insurrection Pure 2, which is in my car, is much more smooth. I just don't really smell it on myself almost at all. Both these fragrances have this fleeting vibe, so you spray it up, and for some reason, you don't smell yourself, but other people can smell you. But even with the Insurrection Pure 2, I've had really no indication that it lasts anywhere longer like than an hour. I spray up on it, and sometimes I'm walking around, I'm like, do I even smell like anything? Because I can't smell anything, and it just seems like it's so weak. But this is such a high compliment garnering DNA. I had to put it up here, number three, Club Dino and Intense Man and Insurrection Pure 2. It's my top four or five, they're all really, really close. You could kind of interchange them all. Certain ones are gonna have certain strengths over the other ones. And depending on who you are as a person, you might like different ones. Number two, I'm going with Armov's Hunter Intense. Now this one's kind of like a rough mix, in my opinion, between Sauvage, Invictus, and a little bit of this white floral scent. It combines just so many likable things into one. I would probably prefer a really nice Sauvage or a really nice version of Invictus over it personally. It just covers so many things it's so likable it's so easy to spray up if you're just getting like a random guy and just tossing him a cologne this one is one of the best like i said i paid out of my own pocket to send this to my cousin because i knew that he would like this one and i gave the other one to my other cousin the club dino we intense man more of a hot weather fragrance but you could wear it everywhere it just overall smells good you could spray up on it not insane longevity and projection but good at the same time everyone's kind of talked this to death i'm off hunter intense very very good Number two. Number one, again, this was really hard to make this list and I could kind of go with anything in my top five to be number one. So take that with a grain of salt. Don't think this is the best cologne or much better than the rest. They're all so, so good. But I really had to go with Bentley's Momentum Intense. Come get a taste. As number one. 
super hard to do this. Probably the main reason that I would put this up there is because of its similarity to CH Men Privé. It just has a very likable smell. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit darker. I would think this is for somebody who's overall a little bit of a darker personality, someone a little bit rugged, but at the same time, it's just so likable and so good. Probably not the best for the warm weather. If you want something for warm weather, that Club de Nuit Intense Man or the Hunter Intense is probably better for the warm weather. But for me, I really enjoy a nice, smooth tobacco style fragrance. This doesn't have tobacco in it, but to me, it just smells like that tobacco and boozy style fragrances, dark, done right, and it doesn't smell anything like a cheap fragrance. It actually smells like a really, really good designer and almost smells maybe even a little more smooth than CH Men Privé, which I already like the blending of. For somebody who with a darker style, somebody who lives in the colder environment, I really, really, really love Bentley's Ferment Intense. That's been my top 10 cheap fragrances of 2020. Let me know your favorite cheap fragrances down below. Let me know which ones I should try next. I'm on a pretty good streak of trying new fragrances and trying new fragrances from oil houses. I probably will do my top 10 oil house fragrances coming up because I do think the oil house fragrances are just going to be better than anything I showed today. But for most people, they want something like this, a brand that they know, 3.4 ounces and all that kind of jazz. And that's what this list was. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so, so much. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Boy, that escalated quickly.